Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Boozer here. In today's video, I have some rather important, time-sensitive um, news that I thought I would share with everyone. Um, I just heard about this, so if I just heard about this, I would assume that maybe most people have not heard about this, so I feel like this is important for me to get it out there. So whoever's watching, make sure you guys pay attention to this. But basically, so we have the Fragment Calendar event here, and this might be able to give us some insight into what we're what we can expect for the uh, future events for some of the other uh, monster hunter theme champions so let's jump into it so here is the fragment events calendar and here is the Plarium website with the um the monster hunter collab going on and then you know you have your little bios on each champion and then they give you a little bit of uh, the dates at which um, we can acquire them. So we have Archer here, January, February. Dedicate Summon Pool event can be also be summoned from Shards. Um, Alterion uh, will be, says, Hero's Path here between January and February. And then Fatalis, the 10x Void event um, between January and February. So that's all fine and dandy. It gives us a rough guideline on what to expect for these champions or at least how to get them. There is some question marks on uh, when they will happen and there's some question marks on what is a summon pool for me personally because this could mean 10x progressive or could mean prism summon. Um, Alterion is specifically says hero's path and then this one specifically says 10x void. But I've been made aware that there was a older um, version of this page that they accidentally released the dates on some of these champions or at least the dates at which these events will occur so this is no longer on the site this is the so i just switched over so this is the real the current site the current site says january february but this one from january 10th is an older version of the website that gives you the exact dates of what's happening so between january 22nd and 27th there is going to be a dedicated summon pool event running so running between january 22nd and 27th so that's very specific and since we are already having a progressive event uh, summon event tomorrow which is the which for me is the 12th we should we should expect another summoning event on the 22nd on monday this kind of lines up it doesn't line up with any um fusion or any kind of uh, any other like champ chase or anything like that so once the champ chase ends there's probably going to be another event for archer and it's probably going to be i'm thinking you know it could still be a 10x or 15x or whatever progressive but it could be a prism shard event that's what i'm thinking um so make sure you guys pay attention to that it's on the 22nd we have alterion's um hero's path event starting on the 22nd as well so it's actually interesting because you have Heroes Path 20, 22, 26, and then you have this one as well, up to the 27th. So it could be a progressive as well as this. So you have a progressive chance pulling Archer, and then you have maybe like a Heroes Path guarantee for Alterion. So that's probably what we should expect moving forward for the um, month of January. So the fusion would probably be over by then um so the fusion actually ends on the 23rd so it's pretty much ending near uh near the end of the fusion but the last summon events will be over by that time so the last summoning events will already be over see so the champion chase will end on the 22nd and this is when the hero's path event will start followed by the um event for archer which still could be a 15x progressive or 10x progressive or prism event um starting as well so my guess i don't know i initially thought maybe it's going to be a prism that starts on the 22nd but honestly it could just be a standard 15x progressive that they're making a bit more juicy for us to pull shards to achieve uh, alterion since alterion is the hero's path we probably expect alterion to be uh, more so less guaranteed but probably somewhere in the realm of 20 sacred shards uh, in terms of value and we could probably expect big soul stones to be worth something as well uh, so it'll be like a soul stone uh, rush type event mixed in and it'll probably be a champion training event probably mixed in here as well so similar to past hero paths 
Um, and it kind of makes sense because the hero's path ends on the 22nd and then we could have another hero's path. Uh, sorry, we could have, sorry, the training event ends on the 22nd and then we could have another training event start right after. So that kind of makes sense. Uh, of course, this is all speculation, but given that these dates kind of make sense. So here are the dates, 22nd to 27th, 22nd to 26th. They kind of make sense. And the only reason that actually, well, the verdict is still out whether this is a prism event or a 15x progressive or 10x uh, chance because this lasts until the 27th, which is one extra day in this. And usually prism shard events last five days. So, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. We're speculating here, but we have some hard dates on this. Um, and we know that Fatalis will be the 10x void uh, pull event for the champion chase for um, this fragment fusion. So yeah, so I think that was more so or less given already. So Fatalis will be part of that 10x uh, next week. Um, but the two uh, variable was Archer and Alterion. Um, everything else was basically given to us. Keep in mind, you guys have until February 27th to log in for Rathalos and then obviously the fusion ongoing ending on the 23rd so archer is the main prize here uh for me at least like it's going to be one of the best champions uh in this set of five absolutely insane champion for hydra i'm talking about the big skill here with the hex the three turn hex and then the provoke so if it's a boss we're talking hydra boss so hex very strong against hydra hydra uh, so hex and provoke on one skill uh, three turn cooldown just insane she actually deals pretty good damage as well but she's actually a defense support champion i think is she she might be a defense damage dealer but she actually deals decent damage uh but most of that damage probably just comes from hex but she's a great support her passive has great healing as well so she's definitely the prize here uh fatalis does have a cool kit and i can see him being good but his animations are really cool, but his multipliers don't seem very good, um, at least from the playtesting that I've seen on him. So he neither needs like a buff. It's really hard to say because I can't see them buffing a champion that they have a collab with. I don't think that has ever happened in the past where they have buffed a collab champion. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys remember a collab champion that they buffed because I can't. But this guy needs like he needs some work on his multipliers he has a really strong move here it's basically attack one enemy ignore basically anything relevant and definitely can kill stuff um he's hb base champion too but he just doesn't hit hard enough so you know it's it really sucks but uh yeah it is what it is we also don't know if next week is going to be a 2x void event along with the 10x void event for fatalis so that's something else that's up in the air uh, Playroom has been very uh, wishy-washy on how they set up the 2x events nowadays. It's been hard to predict. It used to be predictable for years, and now it's just hard to predict. But anyways, guys, I wanted to bring uh, to the forefront those dates. Uh, make sure you guys plan accordingly. Um, you know, Try to save some shards if you guys can. I know it's going to be a big investment either way for either of those Heroes Path or Prism Shard events. Uh, Prism event, we can't really do too much about, but... Um, you know, in terms of shards, you might be able to save some or manage your shards properly for the hero's path for Alterion. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys uh, can make use of the news. Uh, much love. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.